Coach Nicole. Today I'm going to lead you through a short abs workout using Pilates exercises. So make sure you work at your own level during this workout and use modifications whenever you feel like you need it. Because these are Pilates exercises, shoes are optional. You don't have to do any warm up to get started with this. We're going to start, all you're going to need is a mat. Go ahead and lie down on your mat. Make sure you've got plenty of room for the length of your body to lie down. And let's start by pulling those shoulders down away from the ears, pulling your belly button in towards that spine underneath you so you've got a nice flat belly there. We're going to bend the knees and place the feet flat on the floor. I want you to lift those arms just up in line with the shoulders. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, you're going to just lift those arms up and over, taking your shoulder blades up off the floor. Inhale and hold in that position. Exhale, slowly roll it back down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift up and over. Inhale and hold. And exhale, slowly roll down with control. Think about your abs lifting your body up. You're just getting those shoulder blades up away from the spine. And using your breath along with your movement, your shoulders are relaxed down away from the ears. Gazing towards that belly as you lift. Just high enough to really engage those abs at the top. We're going to try two more like this. And back down. Last time, inhale, exhale. Lift, let's hold it up in this position here. I've got my arms right down to the sides, nice and stiff. Begin pumping those arms at your sides. You're going to inhale for four pumps. Exhale for four pumps. In, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Good. Keep your those arms nice and stiff. Use your breath along with that movement. The rest of your body is nice and still. You're gazing towards that belly. If your head and neck get really tired, you can place one hand behind the head and neck for a little bit of support. But if you're ready to add a little intensity to this, try to lift those knees up in line with the hips to tabletop position. A little harder from there is to extend those legs up right there in line with the hips. Your hardest level of intensity once you work up to it is to lower those legs down at an angle towards the floor. But make sure that lower back doesn't arch up. Let's try one more set of that breath. Exhale, two, three, four, and relax down. Put those knees into your chest. Draw your shoulders down away from the ears. Take a nice deep breath. From here, keep those knees up right there in line with the hips. We're going to inhale, exhale, lift those shoulder blades up just to engage the abs. From here, let's take the right hand to the right ankle. Your left hand comes to your knee. Extend out and pulse. Inhale and switch. Exhale, pulse, pulse. Inhale, switch. Good. Use your breath along with that. Keep the rest of your body nice and still. Just work at your own pace and through your own range of motion. Think about that belly staying nice and flat. And one more set. Exhale. And bring those knees to chest. Relax down. Take a deep breath and relax the shoulders away from your ears. We're going to inhale and exhale up one more time, engaging those abs. This time I'm going to bring the right leg in, the left leg extends out. Pulse, pulse, inhale, switch, pulse, pulse. Your exhale, and every time you bring that leg in, reaching up towards that ankle, keeping your shoulder blades lifted away from the floor so that those abs are engaged. If you want to add a little more challenge to this one, take your arms down to the sides instead of pulling your leg in towards you. One more set, and pulse, pulse, bring the knees to chest, relax down, take a deep breath, relax the shoulders down, and pull those abs in nice and tight, I want you to hug those knees in tight towards your chest, take a deep breath in, exhale, and lift your shoulder blades up, engaging the abs in this position, from here we're going to inhale and stretch out, exhale, sweep those arms around and hug the knees in, so we inhale and stretch, exhale, hug it in. Keep that belly nice and flat. Work through your own range of motion. The more you kick those legs out towards the floor, the harder you're working. You can kick them up to the ceiling to make it a little bit easier. A couple more. And exhale, hug in. Keep those abs engaged. Last one. And exhale, hug it in. Relax those shoulders down. Take a deep breath there. We're going to move into the crisscross, which is just like a bicycle crunch, except nice and slow. So lift those knees in line with the hips. Take a deep breath in. Let's exhale and lift those shoulder blades up away from the mat. Our hands come behind the head and neck for a little bit of leg support. We're going to bring opposite elbow to opposite knee. Exhale and hold. Inhale and bring it back to that start position. Exhale, twist and hold. And inhale back up. 
Notice this is nice and slow. It's a really controlled movement. You're not moving quickly. Your head is just resting in those hands lightly for a little bit of support. And just make sure you work through your own range of motion. Keep those legs a little more bent to make this one easier. Keep breathing with it. Belly nice and flat. And last set here. Exhale, twist. Inhale to the center. Last side. And back in. Relax down and hug those knees to your chest. We're going to come up from the mat now. Rock yourself up to a seated position as we move into a hip lifting exercise. So lengthening on your mat. We've got my elbow directly underneath the shoulder in a nice straight line. Abs are pulled in tight. Feet stacked one on top of the other. Take your hand up to your hip and pull those abs in tight. As we exhale, we're going to lift our hips just up off of the mat and inhale, slowly lower back down to that star position. Exhaling, lift, reach the hips to the ceiling and inhale, slowly lower. Make sure you're not just dropping your hips down, you're making this controlled release back down to that start. You can also make this exercise a little bit easier by bending at the knees and just lifting onto the knees instead of straightening the legs. Three more. Use your breath, head and neck right there in line with the spine. And last one, exhale, lift it up. And inhale, slowly release it down. Let's go ahead and come up onto this side hip. I want you to take your hand a little wider than the shoulder. Our feet are staggered one in front of the next as we move up into a side plank. This one's going to be a little more challenging. Pull those abs in tight. Take a deep inhale. Reach to the ceiling. Shifting your weight between your hand and the sides of your feet. You can make this easier by dropping your knee down to the floor. All right. Try to pull those hips up. We're going to add a twist if you can work a little harder. Inhale. Exhale and twist that hand underneath the arm. Inhale and reach it back up. Notice my hips are lifted the whole time. Exhale, twist through. Inhale, take it back up. Two more. And inhale, reach. Keep those hips lifted. Last twist. And inhale all the way up. Keep it up. And slowly release it down. Let's go ahead and switch that over to the other side, starting with those hip lifts. Body in a nice straight line. Elbow directly underneath that shoulder. Feet stacked. Hand on the hip. Abs in tight. Exhale, lift those hips up, and inhale, slowly release. Keep that belly nice and flat. You're pulling that belly button in towards your spine behind you. Just lifting as high as you can with control each time. Remember, bend the knees to make this easier if you need to. That makes your range of motion a little bit smaller. Good. Keep breathing. Two more. And last one all the way up. Exhale, lift. And inhale, slowly release it down. Let's come up onto that side hip, stagger your feet. Hand a little wider than the shoulders from that side plank. Abs in tight. Inhale, lift it up. Balancing, keeping your body in a straight line. Let's add that twist here. Exhale, twist underneath the arm. And inhale, reach up. Keep those hips lifted. Remember, modify with the knee down if you need to make this easier. And one more twist through. Inhale all the way back up and slowly release it down. Let's go ahead and turn over onto our bellies. Lengthen those legs back behind you. We're going to move into a plank exercise from here. Elbow directly underneath that shoulder. When you're ready, take a deep breath in. Pull those abs in tight and lift your weight up onto those toes, keeping your body in a nice straight line. You don't want to lift the hips or drop the hips down. To make this easier, take it to your knees. Try a couple more deep breaths. One more breath. And relax back down onto that mat. I'm going to make this last one a little bit more challenging. Hands directly underneath the shoulders. We're going to lift up to a plank with straight arms. Exhale and lift up. Once again, body in a nice straight line. Pull those abs in tight and don't forget to breathe. You can make this easier by taking it to your knees. Head and neck in line with that spine. Try two more deep breaths. And last one. Go ahead and drop those knees down to the floor. We're going to lower all the way down onto our belly. And work that lower back really quick before we finish up. Extend those arms out in front. Our legs are extended all the way back. Head and neck right there in line with the spine. As you exhale, you're going to lift both arms and legs up away from the floor. And inhale, slowly lower back down. Exhaling to lift up. Feel that lower back engage. Inhale, release. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. 
Think about lengthening here. Like your fingertips and toes are reaching out to opposite walls. If it gets too challenging, you can lift with just arms or just legs. Let's try a couple more. Exhale and inhale. Last time. Exhale, lift it up and slowly release it down. We're going to finish with a few core stretches. Go ahead and place those hands underneath your shoulders and we're going to push up and lift that chest up away from the floor, lengthening those arms, pulling your shoulders down away from your ears. Look up towards the ceiling if you can. From there, let's take it to hands and knees, hands directly under the shoulders, knees directly under the hips, your spine is in a neutral position. As you inhale, you're going to arch the back, dropping your belly towards the floor and looking up. As you exhale, you're going to pull those abs in tight and round your back. So we inhale, arch up, feel a stretch through the abs. Exhale, pull the abs in as tight as you can as you round. One more time with each of those. Inhale, arch, and exhale, round. Bring yourself back to that neutral position. Now let's shift our weight down over the heels, reach forward through those fingertips, as far forward as you can, and take a couple deep breaths. Relax your head and neck down. And when you feel ready, slowly roll that spine up one vertebra at a time as you slide those hands in. Draw your shoulders down the back and lift the head. All right, we're finished with the short abs workout. For more fitness and workout ideas, visit sparkpeople.com.